in Jackson section 4.1, there's an integral of uh, the electric field over a speckle volume. So the derivation is somewhat long, so I'll uh, do it here. So, so you have a speckle volume, so you define your coordinate system. So the sphere is centered at the origin with a radius all again okay, want to do an integration of the electric field e x the volume integration over this volume the weight is smaller than this capital all okay so um, we'll just uh, move on with the Derivation. So E is minus grad five, the electric potential. So it's minus uh, grad five dqx. Okay. And so this is uh, a total, total gradient over volume. So we can use a, a vector identity to change that to a surface integral. This is a similar to a divergence theorem, but this is a vector, it's not a direct, it's a gradient, not a divergence. So uh, what you end up is uh, a volume integration uh, becomes a surface integration. The gradient becomes the unit vector n normal to the surface. So n, and integrating over the, the surface element, so r square, uh, r square d omega, the solid angle. Okay, so, and so this is a, a sphere r equals to r. Okay, and then uh, we can use the fact that phi is given by a charge density. Okay, so and pull all the constant r, r square over uh, and when you do the the phi expression there's a one over four pi epsilon zero so okay and then the, you have a integrating over the volume x prime and rho charge density x prime divided by x minus x prime. Okay, and the original surface integral is uh, in the space x, so you put that uh, inside this second integral. So x minus x prime. Okay, so, uh, and for a speckle volume, so N is just the radial unit vector, which is just, uh, you can write like cosine theta in C, plus sine, sine theta, cosine phi in X plus sine phi in Y. Okay, so that uh, that is in, this integram. So you have this one of x minus x pi in the second integral. And we can use the green function, which is just the green function of the free, free space, but we can use the expansion of the free space green function in uh, speckle harmonics to do that. So, uh, so substitute that formula. And so that formula has a four pi factor in front of so cancel this four pi so minus r square over epsilon zero and dqx pi rho x pi and then sum of l from zero to infinity sum of m from minus l to l okay and that formula has a one over two L plus one and uh, in front of the factor. 
and you have this L smaller L, L greater L plus one. Okay, and this greater and smaller are comparing greater and smaller are comparing the so this integration is at the, the for x and but the x is uh, on the surface of the volume so r is uh, capital r and the x pi the the magnitude x pi is just r pi so it's comparing r pi and r comparing r pi and r so whatever is greater is this r greater whichever smaller is the r smaller okay so and so the integrate the volume the angular integration is on uh, theta and phi so n depends on theta and phi so you have to uh, so you pull out the uh, speaker harmonic that depends on theta pi and phi pi and out okay so this uh, convex conjugate y l m out m and then integrate just uh, y l m theta phi and n the omega okay so for this uh, integration of the solid angle is just this one so you need to uh, integrate y l m times n okay and n is given by this uh, the usual way to unit vector okay and that one is uh, easier to integrate uh, to use the uh, alpha normal definition of ylm so you remember this the uh, ylm complex conjugate ylm and integrate over solid angle this is just quantica delta delta l i mean l pi and m pi l pi l m pi m okay so they will be zero if l in not equals l pi m will not equal l m pi uh, okay and one with there they are the same so uh, so we'll just uh, use this if we can express n which is just cosine theta and this sine theta cosine phi sine theta sine phi and we can express all this into speaker harmonic uh, or complex conjugate of speaker harmonic then we can use this to do the integration directly without actually doing any integration so we need to express those uh, which is quite uh, straightforward because uh, you just look up the uh, form of ylm for l equals to one because all these are uh, just uh, uh, you recognize those as uh, like you multiply by r this is just uh, Cartesian coordinates so just the first power of Cartesian coordinates so it only depends on l equals to zero so before we uh, do that uh, we can just uh, uh, just use the definition so what you look up uh, somewhere in chapter three uh, when we talk about speaker hymen there's a uh, formula there's the there's a list of ylm like y10 this is uh, you look that up which is uh, three over four pi and square root of that and cosine theta so cosine theta is quite trivial cosine theta is just square root of four pi over three times y one zero and of course uh because this is real so and so then uh equals to y1 zero or y1 zero complex conjugate doesn't matter because it's actually a wheel okay and so we can take care of the first term like that and likewise y11 one one is uh, negative square root of uh, 3 over 8 pi sine theta cosine phi 
plus i sine phi. Okay, so uh, so you have that. And so you, it's similar to this two term, but it's a combination of these two because it's sine theta goes sine phi and sine theta sine phi here. So we need one more, which is y1 minus one. And y1 minus one is just, uh, just minus of y11 in compact conjugate. So you can see that uh, it's just three over eight pi sine theta cosine phi minus i sine phi. Okay, so that's uh, another combination of these two, but then uh, they are not in the, they are, they are not uh, dependent, so we can subtract the two to get one of these. Okay, so it's like uh, if you subtract the first one from the second one, you cancel the second term, and you only have the first term, so what you get is a sine theta, cosine phi. It's just uh, you uh, subtract the two, so it's y, and then uh, you get two of the first terms. So you divide it by two is one half of square root eight pi over three, and y one minus one minus y one one. Okay, so that's that's it. Uh, and then uh, because it again is real, so you can change that to complex conjugate. So that doesn't matter. Okay, and likewise, um, sine theta, sine phi would be so now uh, sine theta sine phi would be the, you add the two, but take the negative sign. And now divided by two i, because add the two, you get i in here, i in here. So one over two i, and negative one over two i. Square root of eight pi over three, and y one minus one plus y one one. And again, you can change the compact conjugate. All right, so all this uh, will allow you to change n in terms of uh, speaker harmonics, but this one, this one, and this one, and then uh, this integration can be performed right away using the awful normal condition. And so that is straightforward, and, and you can calculate this integral. And then uh, you do the summation using all the Konica delta. And the final result actually turns out to, to be not depending on the coefficient here. So as long as you have some coefficient and in a combination of these symmetrical harmonics, you get exactly the same result. But, uh, but this integration itself, it depends on the coefficient, of course. But uh, So we'll uh, just move on to that. So this YLM and times n d omega. So you have the z component, which is cosine theta here, and then you have y1 zero complex conjugate and multiply by y lm to the solid angle integration. So you have uh, the c component is uh, this coefficient. So square root of four pi over three, and then delta l1 delta m zero. Okay. Uh, so that's the first term. And that's it x. Okay. And that's an x and then in y and z, you can do the same thing. All right, y is uh, sine theta cosine sine phi, which is this one. So you have one over two square root of eight pi over three. And you have delta L1, delta M minus one, then minus delta L1, delta M1. And that's in Y. Oh, that's actually in C. This is, sorry, change. This is in C. This is in X. 
And then y is uh, minus one over two i square root of eight pi over three. Then y, I don't know why, because we integrate that. So it's delta L one, delta M minus one, and press delta L one, delta M one, that's in y. Okay, so that kind of straightforward, just substitute all this into here and the integration and use the uh, alpha canoe, alpha normal condition. Now you have all this chronicle delta, it can allow you to sum over this L and M. And you see that everything depends on delta L1. So you only pick up L equals to one term. Okay, and uh, then uh, uh, you have M0 and M, uh, delta M0, delta M1 or delta M minus one, and you can do that respectively. And so, Finally, you can put this uh, into the integral that we try to do. So it's this integration, uh, less than R e dq x. Uh, this is equals to, so substitute all this in this and, and perform all the summation using clinical delta. You have a uh, minus R square over epsilon zero. And you see that they only have pick up L equal one term and all the M you can also perform. So there's no summation up to you. Uh, change those uh, M to the uh, respective value using the conical delta. Okay, so L equals to one. So you have one over two L plus one. So it's three in the denominator. Okay, and then you have a, uh, volume integration over the charge density. Okay, and then uh, you have this R smaller to the R greater square because L equals to one. Okay, and uh, then uh, all this uh, YLM's complex conjugate times this integral, the conical delta. And, so there's the C component, C component in, uh, so square root of four pi over three. So Y one zero complex conjugate in C. And then uh, one half of square root eight pi over three. And you have y1 minus one complex conjugate minus y1 one complex conjugate in x and minus one half square pi over three y1 minus one complex conjugate plus y1 one complex conjugate and y. Okay. And all this depends on the theta pi y phi pi. So this is depends on theta pi y pi. But then the, all these are just the same as here. You have here and here and here. So this is this the first term is just cosine theta pi. The second one is just uh, sine theta pi phi pi. And this the last one is sine theta pi sine theta pi phi pi. The second one is sine theta pi cosine theta pi. So uh, cosine phi pi, okay. So all, everything is just combined to this uh, n pi, where n pi is this, uh, this same value, but change theta to theta pi phi, phi to phi pi. So, so that is uh, finally what we get minus r square of three epsilon zero. X pi, rho x pi, r smaller, r greater square, and then n pi, where n pi is just cosine theta pi, c plus sine theta pi, cosine phi pi, x plus sine phi pi y. Okay, so that's what we got to here. 
Now, uh, this integral, uh, uh, you can perform in the two, two situations that you can perform it. One is all the charges are inside the sphere. The other is all the charges are outside the sphere. For the general case that uh, always both, you have charge density both inside and out, then um, that kind of, uh, you, uh, different that's kind of a you have a combination of the two two cases you, you need to write in a combination so but uh, if for uh, uh, all the charges is inside the sphere so you have uh, that's two situations so this, the first situation is all the charges is in so you have a sphere the first situation is all the charges are inside okay so that's the first case and remember this r smaller and r greater is comparing r prime and r r is the the radius of the sphere so if all the charges are inside the sphere then the r greater is capital r r smaller is uh, r smaller is r prime so that becomes a so r greater is the capital R, so you cancel with the capital R, so you have minus one over three epsilon zero, and integrating x prime rho x prime and times, uh, times this r prime times n prime, which is just, r, just x prime, okay? So, and then you, you recognize this integration in, in x prime it's just the definition of the electric dipole. So that is equals to minus P over three epsilon zero. So this is for the cases uh, rho inside the sphere R less than R. Okay. So if all the charge density is inside the char uh, uh, sphere, then you get the minus P over three epsilon zero, okay? For the, for the next case, as, uh, you have a sphere, but then uh, all the charges are outside. Then, uh, then of course, uh, this R prime, R greater becomes R prime and R smaller becomes uh, capital R. So from here, you have capital R, you can combine with the, the factor outside becomes minus capital R cubed three epsilon zero and dq x prime rho and then the r greater is r pi okay so that becomes a n pi over r pi r pi square okay now you recognize this one, this integral, it's just the, the usual Coulomb field, a proportion of the Coulomb field formula. Coulomb field formula is this one divided by four pi epsilon zero. So you have epsilon zero here. So if you divide it by four pi, multiply by four pi, so one over four pi epsilon zero, this one is just electric field evaluate at the center. So if x is equal to zero here, okay. So that is uh, that equals to four pi or uh, minus four pi. Uh, four pi epsilon zero. Let me see. Uh, actually, that's uh, that is. Uh, negative uh, as absorbed in here because the formula x minus x prime, x is zero, x prime is this uh, r prime times n prime, okay? So that one combined with uh, is, is the, with the, with the direction, so that become positive. And that is e and r, r cube and then e at zero. So E S C O is given by this one and multiplied by minus sign and divided by four pi epsilon zero. So that would be uh, the case and rho is outside. 
the ball of charge stands the outside the spear, outside the spear, uh, less than hour. Uh, okay. So that would be the second situation. And this one is uh, actually calc there's no epsilon zero. Epsilon zero is, is included in the electric field. So this is like a volume of the sphere and then multiplied by the electric field at the center. So as long as your sphere doesn't contain any charge density, so this volume integration is like the just multiplied by the volume by the electric field at the center, you get exactly the same uh, result as this integral. So that is uh, this one. So uh, that's how you get this uh, two result. One is equation four one, 18, the other is equation 419 of Jackson. Okay, so that's it.